Good morning from beautiful Munising. We have some construction this week. Construction, I'll show you a little bike ride. Some good stuff out there. Uh, it's a little chilly. I do have the heated jacket uh, this morning. It's about 59. It's supposed to get up to 84 today and sunny. And anyway, we've had great weather this week, a lot of progress on the house. Hope you enjoy the video. Quite a bit extra.
Hello. I'm checking on the size of the vanity mirror I picked out. Or medicine cabinet, I guess I should say. The antique medicine cabinet I picked out for where my vanity is going to be. And then I want sconce lighting. So this is the one I picked out online. A little big for compared to the medicine cabinet, but I guess I could always swap out the medicine cabinet for something different. Um, and then this was at the house and it kind of fits with the era because it came with the house, you know? And I found another one of those online. So I actually could swap that out. And then these are also going to go in the guest bathroom. And I like them and I like sconce lighting so I could always use the other set on either side of the windows in the bedroom or something too. We shall see, more to come on that. Uh, but in today's news, we were insulated, at least on the exterior walls. I guess maybe that's the only way the place it goes. Yeah, I guess it is, because you don't need them on these walls. So that's pretty beautiful. And our understanding is that Monday, Tuesday next week. No, not Monday, Tuesday. Next week, starting on Monday, the drywallers will come. So, wow. That will look like real progress. Looking forward to that. Um, outside, well, first, outside we have Gary mowing the lawn. Hi, Gary mowing the lawn. So, of course, I'm excited about that. Look at him go. And then this is the back entryway progress. So it's going to be very nice. Uh, very, very nice. Look at that lawn mowing. Awesome. Yeah, so having a beautiful day here, very busy. Um, but the good news is the construction people have been very busy too. And everything is cool from what I can tell. And I'm just super excited about being insulated. <laughs> wow, 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 wow crane in the front yard. I don't know if they made any progress on siding. Not necessarily, but they're getting ready to put trim. There's prepping so they can put trim up there. Yep. Every day, a little more. So, catch up when there's more to catch up with.
Okay, we have progress on this cute little entrance way. It's so nice. So that's looking good. And then the finished product of the electricity line. So this is part of the process of burying the power line and the line they buried now uh, has capacity for 200, 200 what, 200, as opposed to 100, the old thing was 100 units of power, whatever those units are called in this residential case, and bumping us up to 200, which will support the new addition. So it looks good. They, the people who did this even planted grass seed for us up there, which I just think is really nice of them to do. So pretty cool. Next step is that the power company is gonna come and switch us over to this new stuff, but not sure when that's happening. Anyway. We're doing our pre-fall walk of our local walking trail system that we like so it's fun to see the seasons change in here right love it is fun so we're just it's after work today after gary's work and after a long day of getting stuff done for me so we're just doing a short one but definitely enjoying it we're wrapping up Gary's first week of remote work, work from home. So that's been cool this week for me at least. Don't know about Gary. <laughs> He's been on the phone a lot. You're boring. <laughs> I won't say, I won't repeat that. That's for you to say now. But yeah, you can't really tell too much here, but we do have some trees thinking about changing color, um, which seems a little premature, <laughs> but then again, it's not. So it is pretty. There's some trees that are thinking about changing so we can get that on camera for you. Got some reds and oranges in there. So it's going to be a very pretty fall around here once things get going. And so, checking in from our favorite walking trail in Munising. See you later. I want to capture this really cool colored toad. Isn't he nice looking? Hello, Toad. I haven't seen one with like that cool greenish. Fun. Have fun, Toad. Oh, there he goes. Good luck out there. Okay, now we have a tree, a mini tree with a proper leaf change in progress. So you know that we weren't joking about the pre-fall situation here. It is very pretty. We're enjoying over and out. I just wanted to point out that there's some kind of chickadee party going on in this area across the street from us. Can you hear them? can't see them, but we can hear them. We're enjoying a really beautiful afternoon uh, on the she shed deck 
And um, I'm taking this opportunity to, well, first of all, these are coriander seeds that I harvested. So I have to figure out what I do to keep some as spices and what I do to keep some to plant in next year's garden. Then I read in my onion growing guide, which I haven't read since I planted the onions, that if an onion plant is growing a flower on top, you should immediately pull it out because it means the onion will no longer grow. And I let this one just go as long as it wanted to, which I really love anyway. But then, I, so today after I read that, I pulled it out of the ground and sure enough, <laughs> the onion stopped growing because it was focusing on its flower. So that's fun and funny. Um, but Gary and I discovered that this little guy went to seed, but the seeds are little onions. Oops, I can't see this. Hold on, let me see if I can get it in the camera. It's a little tiny onion. Isn't that cute? So I'm gonna try to grow those into onion starters. Wouldn't that be cool? So, wish us luck in turning these little tiny baby onions into mama onions. We shall see. Over and out. Gary and I are in Marquette and we're going on a little bike ride. So I thought I would turn the GoPro on for a little while. Looking it's, right now I see me 100%. Can you tell like if it well if it will get I mean it's a wide enough lens it should be fine, right? Yes. Yeah, and is it can you see if it's um counting down? Yes, it's counting up. But I mean that's it's on. Yeah. It's recording. Yeah. Cool.
So the train brings it from the ore, and then the train takes it, so I meant from, so yeah, from the mine. And then, uh, brings it to the ship. see it go down. But oh, there it goes. What a treat. So it looks like they only use every other one. It probably depends on where the train's parked, huh? That is one long ass ship. Well, Alrighty. Good time. should we go back where we came from? We can go around the parking lot. Around the parking lot. Yeah, back to where we came in. Oh, my hand. Hey, love. Will you fix my handlebars? Yeah. I have no yes, idea. I, yeah, I believe so. Oh yeah, I need to tighten it. Really loose here. Could you hold my bike? Yes. Put your kicks hand down. Do what? I said put your kicks Oh, sorry, down. I didn't hear you. I need a tool.
you hold that wristbandy thing? No, it's fine. That was so weird. I was like, something's wrong with this. We're in Escanaba with some surprise visitors. Sasquatch invasion. <laughs> They're here for the Sasquatch invasion. Joe Hauser and Mary, and we're just enjoying some time in Escanaba here at Hereford and Hobbs. So, how does it feel to be back in Escanaba? It feels pretty good, eh? You know? It's, uh, we got the... <laughs> we were over there by Trinary getting a toast, you know? It was pretty good. I, I like it, was, it wasn't as good as it used to be back in the day, you know? But it was like, we moved up there real fast. Like, we were faster than a fart on the griddle, you know? Like, <laughs> So the drywallers are coming today and I thought I would capture the incredible insulation situation. It's hard to get the full widescreen effect, but like this is our bedroom and you can see insulation everywhere. So. Pretty cool. Uh, I am going to try to get the Go, I'm in and out today, but I'm gonna to try to get the GoPro up for the drywallers. Yeah, exciting morning. And I just picked a bunch of tomatoes and other goodies out of the garden out there, so. It's a beautiful day. Gonna have a good one. That's where they poured concrete for the walkway that goes to mom's deck and entrance. So that's pretty cool. Over and out.
All right, Dad, we are in the crawl space. And look at this creation that Victor put together. Look at this incredible setup. It smells like natural gas right now, so we know it's working. We don't know what it's doing. This is so high tech. It has a keypad on it. Touch screen. A touch screen. <laughs> This is high tech. Very cool. Well, thank you, Victor. It looks awesome. Yeah, thank you. I was in the garden yesterday. Um, just so I was out there to turn the hose on and then I, of course, got caught up with looking at what I needed to pick because it was ready to harvest. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do check on those garlics, the garlic that was growing. And um, because <clears throat> the top was dead, so I knew it was time they weren't going to grow anymore. I just want to show you, like, the, this is basically what I planted. So what came out at the end of the growing season is no different than what I put in. So that's the garlic I quote unquote grew. So <clears throat> I've learned a lot about garlic since I got here. And I'll be overwintering garlic this year. So you'll be seeing more of that. But we've had more onions to harvest. So everybody's looking good on that end. Um, yeah, exciting. I wanted to show you that I can more tomatoes this week, even this one big can of tomatoes. These are so delicious, I hope they turn out. Yummy, 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 yummy. These are just the cherry tomatoes that I picked yesterday alone. So I've already eaten a few. So cherry tomatoes are coming in. And we have some tomatoes that we're hoping will ripen on the windowsill. Some of them already are. So I'll do a canning day in a few days when I have some more to can. So, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Before I close out, I'll give you a tour of where things stand uh, on the inside of the construction because there have been a lot of fun, dramatic developments. Um, part of it was uh, some branch removal on that tree to make room for roofers who haven't come yet, but I think by the end of the week, they might be here. Just heard a woodpecker. A couple of them. So we are going to walk up these stairs together. And then I will show you the inside of the house. I feel like these stairs have a life timeline, like, because of the erosion, whenever it rains or people walk down this way, the slope that, I don't know if you can tell that it, so this, all the sand used to be, you know, even with the bottom base that they made for the stairs. Um, but as time has gone on, it's worn away. And I feel like this is our hourglass <laughs> for these stairs to exist, is how long are they going to, how long is the sand gonna stay up? Yeah, you know, anyway, I'm sure at some point that they need to, they'll fill them and they've done that before. So it's been a while though. So when that sand is gone, it is time to be wrapped up upstairs. That's my little, that's what I like to think in my mind. Okay, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, it looks like rooms. Drywallers were here yesterday, they are back in today. Um, they, I think I'm gonna set up the GoPro. You might see them doing the mud next week because I'm gonna set up the GoPro for that. But uh, the inspector was late, later than they thought. So they didn't um, do the, he wanted to see the insulation for the outside walls before they could move forward. So they just did the insulation on the inside walls so far um also this this inside insulation happened over the weekend which is really amazing um so 
Yeah, interior walls. I have drywall and it's so, like, it's really cool. Our bedroom is awesome. Can't wait to live here. Bathroom insulation. This looks bigger than I had envisioned in my mind. It's pretty cool. This is the walk-in closet. <laughs> but of course, I keep joking that this is gonna be Gary's office. I'm gonna use his office as my closet. <laughs> Anyways, this is the one with all the walls done because these are all interior walls. So this will be a closet. And then, I don't know if I can get a good like pan of the bedroom, like, but it's gonna be killer. So cool. And then this is the, what will be Gary's office and the spare bedroom. Very nice, very nice. So that's cool, let's look outside. Nice morning, garbage day, garbage and recycling. And then we have another bathroom. There's Gary's silhouette. He's working from home. <laughs> Hi, Gary. <laughs> it looks like they still need to do the, they'll be doing the uh, drywalling in here. So lots of changes and so much has happened this week. It's really cool. Really happy that we have walls. And I hear, I hear Joel drive into the back. I don't think I'm gonna catch him on camera. No, he's already in the back. So, That's a wrap. We'll catch you next week.